Hey guys, it's Gray, and this is our latest edition of Gray Thursdays on the Six Tweens of Tomorrow. Yeah, okay. On this episode, we're supposed to do top ten scary movies, and I didn't do last week's episode, which was top, wait, no, not top ten, just scary stories, so I'm gonna smash them together and make this week's episode. So, watch. Okay, my first story is... There was a cabin in the woods. Yeah, I know. Typical beginning. Blah, blah, blah. Deal with it. There was a cabin in the woods. A family lived there, like every other family that lived in a cabin in the woods. The parents went out for a dinner night, and the babysitter was left with instructions, and after all the kids had gone to bed, she was allowed to lay in the parents' bed and watch TV. And so, once the kids had gone to bed, she laid in the parents' bed and watched TV, and... While she was watching TV, she had noticed something in the corner. There was this creepy clown statue, and she just hated it. It was just freaky. And so she called the parents, and the dad picked up. And she said, hey, can I move this clown statue? It's really creepy. He. And the dad said, get out of the house. Grab the kids and get out of the house. And the babysitter's like, why? The dad says, we don't own a clown statue. Okay, I hope that was scary, because that was just the beginning. Okay, the second one is... <clears throat> a woman pulls up to a gas station in New Jersey. In New Jersey, they do this weird thing where people fill up the gas for you. Like, they, they just wait there to fill up your gas, which is kind of cool. And it helps, like, give people jobs. But So the lady pulls up to the gas station, and the guy, he, like starts filling up her gas and he sees something and he tells the lady to get out of the car and to come with him because there's some sort of credit card problem and once they're inside the store he turns to the woman and says there's a guy in the back of your car and she just blows him off and's like no there isn't and so she goes back to her car gets in and drives away and she was never seen again this is my last and final story it's creepy so i'm going to start now this girl just moved into her house, and her dog sleeps under her underneath her bed. And so, every night before she goes to sleep, she lets her dog lick her hand. So one night she get, she gets in bed, she dro he she drops her hand over the side of the bed. I don't know how to describe that action, but she puts her arm over the side of the bed, and her dog licks her hand. She goes to sleep. In the middle of the night, she wakes up to this dripping noise. She gets up, goes into her bathroom, turns off the faucet, lets her dog lick her hand, goes back to sleep. Then she wakes up again. She hears the dripping noise again. So she gets up, goes downstairs, turns off all the water, and then goes back to sleep. Lets her dog lick her hand, go back to sleep. Then she wakes up again, and she goes outside to turn out all the water in the entire house and then she comes back to bed lets her dog lick her hand goes back to sleep she wakes up again and there's still a dripping noise she just lays there and listens tries to pinpoint where it's coming from and it's coming from her closet so she gets up she goes to her closet and her dog has is hanging upside down and its throat is slit and blood is dripping on the floor, going tap, 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 tap. And written on the, the wall of her, her closet in blood is, humans can lick too. I hope I didn't freak you out too much, but did you like it? Okay, the last one is top five or top ten scariest movies. And I'm just going to blow through this quick, say the title of the movie and then give a short description starting off with number five is the ring that move no the ring two the ring two was like an awful movie it was really weird and it like it i don't i can't explain it, it wasn't even scary but it was just weird it was a weird movie i wouldn't suggest watching it number four blair witch project which is this weird horror movie he, about these people making a movie about, like, a witch that, like, used to live in this town, and it's called the town of Blair or something, and they, 
go out into the woods and they start like tracking all this stuff and they all these weird things happen like it rains blood and all this junk and then they all die in junk but i think it's a good movie to start off with if you're like a beginner with horror movies okay number three it's this old horror movie called rosemary baby and it's when this woman gives birth to this baby that's possessed by the devil and it wails like and that's how the baby cries which i think is really freaky and okay number two this one is insidious you know it wasn't really that scary. I laughed through a ton of it because there's like the demon thing crawling on walls like a goat spider. And I just laughed my head off through most of the movie. He and my brothers thought I was crazy and sick, but I'm a little, but... And, well, I thought it had like a good storyline and stuff. It wasn't that scary though. And number one, The Conjuring. It was, it's like the scariest movie I've ever seen, and I don't want to ever see it again. It's a, it's based off of a true story, which makes it freaky. It's all about demonic possession and all this stuff. And it's based off a true story, so, and there's actually like a real place in like Maine where all this stuff happened, and it just freaked me out. And it has a good storyline, so, if you're looking for a good scary movie to watch, I'd suggest The Conjuring. Thanks for watching this episode of Grey Thursdays in the month of Scaretober. And tune in next Thursday for our next episode. And I don't know what the theme is, and that's the surprise. Happy Halloween!